What guarantees that when you have the force, you're going to inflate uh, this life boy of the, the group? What uh, guarantees that? Nothing. There is no guarantee. There's, there's no promise. Well, I don't understand you. How could there be? It's written that I have to organize a group. I have to connect to the group, to the environment, like he explains to us, Baal Sulam. Right? I have to come to a state of Arvut with them. Arvut means that I'm in such states that I must have help, and I'm in such states where I can give help. That's that's all. And this happens in at different times in different ways. It's like w- with us, you know, at some point we're babies and we need treatment. And then sometimes we're adults and we give strength to others and, and then uh, eventually we're elderly people who need help from others. So in the beginning and in the end we're like babies and like elderly people. And in the middle we have power to work. So it's similar to states that always change in spirituality. How does a person know that, uh, or the ten knows, that if he has strength and ascent and inspiration right now, it goes to strengthen the general common clea of the group? When he works with them together all the time in terms of the ascent of the upper force, the, the, the value of the upper force in their eyes, that there's none else besides him and good that does good, and he inflates their life, the, the, the group, with his strength as much as possible. To that extent, it goes back to him. If they have our vote, there has to be a very clear consensus that they're coming in order to strengthen this. And then it turns out that their, that his descent is their ascent, that they each add into the group, each one adds their empty vessels, and then each time, with continuously, they're always ascending. Because one falls, the other rises. The other rises, one falls, and, another, and again and again. And then they have, um, it's like an alternate current that becomes direct current.